Happy Sunday guys. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. Feeling a little frustrated. So I made a video the other day, went to edit it just now and realized that I recorded it not sideways and so this is a, a redo. What's up guys? So just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, as you can see, Anyways, it's Sunday morning. You guys probably hear the mower going. Rico is actually cutting the grass. Let's see. I don't know where he went. If I can show you that or not. Right now he's cutting the neighbor's grass. And he did a few swipes on ours. So that's what he's up to. Just want to give you guys an update on the 40 gallon aqua top. So you may hear the mower in the background, don't mind the noise, um, got to get this video done and out to you guys, I know you really wanted to update, I apologize for not getting one out sooner, but honestly I haven't done much, I've just been letting the tank cycle, even though um, Rico basically said it was cycled pretty soon after due to the fact that I put in a piece of his live rock in the back of it. Um, but life is busy. Um, I am back in nursing school and I'm struggling a little bit. So of course my first priority right now is my schooling. I have exams weekly so it's, it's very busy and it's fast paced. So enough of that. Um, I, I'm still absolutely loving the aquascape. I can't wait to actually see, um, you know, some um, fish swimming around, some coral in here, that type of stuff. Just kind of giving you guys a look at all sides again. At this point, I love the black sand. I like the contrast. I know that my rocks won't stay like that white forever, but I have no complaints at this point. Sorry for the glass is not clean as well. Um, but yeah, I love it. So the only thing that I've actually done so far is I did go out and grab of course a digital thermometer and then of course I had to get a so dark I had to get a heater so other than that that's it here's a quick look with the white light So I'm making my coffee and talking to you guys. So the first fish that I want to add to the system is a leopard wrasse. You guys have probably heard me say that before. Um, I just love them and I've wanted one. We've actually put, I think we put two in the 300 gallon, which I know I've said this before. Um, and every, each time that we put one in, it disappeared and we never saw it again type of thing. So that's the first fish that I want to add. I don't know where I'm going to get it from yet. I'm going to see if I can get one from um, our local fish store or if I need to order it from somewhere. So we shall see on that. I'll share with you guys since this is kind of my morning going on. I have coffee and shout out to CJ's Aquariums because I'm using my Be Easy mug. So... I'm recording and he might think that I'm talking to him because he's out there and can only hear me talking and he keeps saying things but anyway um, so that's that question for you guys so I have to give you a little story because I'm kind of torn on what to do so as I've been saying obviously I want clownfish and an anemone um, now okay so i'm back i had to tell him to be quiet so that i could record my video and him stop talking to me um you'll probably still hear him so today actually just to give you fill you in a little bit his friend is getting the 300 one of his friends is getting the 300 gallon um so today is 
the day they're gonna move it. So he's on his way here with some people to pick it up. Should be interesting. Um, so anyways, my question for you guys is, we have, he actually had like three pairs of clownfish in the 300 gallon. And so we still have, obviously, I think one of one one fish didn't make it out of those um, from before. But basically, my question is, we have two. We have a pair downstairs. It's just I'll put in a quick video that I made of that so you can see what it looks like. It's just your typical orange clownfish. Now, what makes that clownfish different from all the other clownfish is that. The one, so we have a pair. The one actually jumped out of the tank at some point within the last year. So he found it on the floor and it was dry. He's like, this thing's not gonna make it. He picks it up, it moved just barely, but he said it was like dry, so it'd been out a long time. Um, he's like, well, let's see, cause he felt it move just a tiny bit. And he put it in the tank and it sunk to the bottom not thinking it was gonna make it or anything. Well, let me tell you, this fish, he actually, he, she, whatever, it needs a name. Um, it made it, it came back, and it has so much spunk and personality, it's not even funny. And so, you walk up to the tank, it's in the frag tank right now, you walk up to it, and he comes right up to the glass, he greets you, you put your finger on it type of thing. Um, yeah, so it's almost like like I have like a soft place in my heart for that fish because of that whole story that I just shared with you and it's just amazing. And then that he pretty much came back like so um, wild and crazy almost. He's just, he's a fish that has personality. So I'll leave it at that. I won't ramble on too much about that. But so I'm really torn. I've always wanted in, in his system, after we've got those clownfish, I always wanted a pair of white ones. So, you know, like the platinum clowns or any of them that look white. I love those. Those are just something that I've always wanted. Um, so of course my first thing for this tank was I'm gonna get a pair of white clowns. Well now, I really got to thinking about it and I was like, man, I just feel, cause I know he's not gonna put that clown, those clownfish back in the um, his new system. And so I really feel like this, this dude deserves, I feel like I'm saying dude, cause I don't know why, I feel like he's a, a boy. But anyways, this dude needs a good home. He has been through death and, and came back to life and all this stuff. And so I just feel, I feel torn. And because of his personality and everything, I'm like, I feel like I should put him in here. So you guys let me know down below what you think I should do. It's just one of those, it's like, well, I've always wanted this, but then I already have this, and he's super cool. So I wanted to share that. I don't know if I ever did. You guys let me know down below what you think. I'm gonna try not to ramble on in this video. I'm gonna hop off, get to studying, um, doing my stuff that I need to do for school. But let me know, I will do my best to get a video out way sooner than, you know, not take so long for this next video. I wanna get some stuff in the tank. I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna get the RAS from, cause like I say, I wanna put that in first. Another quick question I can ask you guys is about the anemone. So we have the rose bubble tip anemones. We have a big one and then we have a, a small one here. I also have access to like a, I, have, I haven't even seen it yet, but it's like a pinkish purple anemone. So there's another question. The whole pink purple thing draws me that way, but then I'm like, hmm, so many decisions. How do you guys do this? Like, it's just too hard. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I have so much here that I can just use, or do I go outside the box and like, I don't know, but I'm like, I always, I've seen like the pinkish purple nems and I like them, so I don't know. I'm gonna drop it here, we're gonna cut it off. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you're not subscribed that you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so if you like these videos and so you don't miss any of them. Um, thank you so much, we truly appreciate all of you. 
all your comments, all your input. Um, we do this because we love it. We do it also for you guys and because it's enjoyable and it's fun and we love the interaction we get with everybody. So again, thank you guys. Have a great rest of the day. I'm going to try to put this out right away. So happy Sunday and I'll see you on the next one. So here's a quick video that I recorded and this one is sideways so don't mind um, and the lights were not on so I think I startled them a little bit because the bright light was shining in there but anyways this is the dude I'm talking about here he is you guys can actually have a visual I tried to put my finger up to the tank but he didn't come up but like I say the lights weren't even on when I shot this video and this is just a frag I don't even, this is a 40 breeder that he has down there that's holding some coral and just has a couple fish in it. Um, so don't mind because the glass is dirty. But that's the guy. There he is. I tried to follow him around a little bit. Um, I think he's in that tank and then his pair is, my, I think, in one of the other frag tanks, but... So just wanted to shoot a quick clip so you guys could see him, see what I was talking about, see what he looked like, introduce you to him, and give me your opinion. Thank you again.